Hello and welcome. My name's Kevin and I'm here today to talk to you about the Higgs mechanism. I'll describe to you why we need the Higgs mechanism, what it does, and how the Higgs boson ties into the whole picture. When you try to break matter up into its smallest constituents, you get to a set of fundamental particles. And scientists eventually realize that these fundamental particles aren't allowed to have mass. Now the Higgs mechanism is a mechanism by which fundamental particles can gain their mass. This comes as a welcome relief because experiment shows us that most particles do have mass. But how does this mechanism actually work? So let's say we take all of space-time and we fill it with a field. And in this diagram the field is drawn by the blue circles. Just like you get electric and magnetic fields, now we have the Higgs field. Now let's also imagine that we have two fundamental particles. We have a photon and a Z boson. When the Z boson tries to move through the Higgs field, it interacts with it, and the Higgs field acts like a syrup and slows down its movement. This interaction with the Higgs field gives the Z boson a mass. Conversely, when the photon tries to move through the Higgs field, it doesn't interact with it at all, and its movement is unimpeded. And hence the photon has zero mass. Okay, so there's a space-time pervading field, and it gives some fundamental particles their mass by interacting with them. But how does the Higgs boson tie into any of this? Particles are actually excitations of fundamental fields. Take for example the electron. The electron is simply an excitation of the electron field. And so it is for the Higgs boson. The Higgs boson is an excitation of the Higgs field. You can think of a field excitation in the same way you think of ripples on a still pot. Now, if we produce enough energy at a point, we can excite the Higgs field and create a Higgs boson. And this is useful because unlike the Higgs field, the Higgs boson can be detected. Well, actually that's not quite true. The Higgs boson is really massive and it won't live for very long. But it will decay into other particles that do live for a long time and we can detect these particles. Once detected, we can use information about them to confirm the existence of the Higgs boson and determine its mass. And this is exactly what happened in 2012 at the Large Hadron Collider. And there you have it, we've confirmed the existence of the mass giving Higgs field. The content in this video was stitched together using content in already made videos and I encourage you to go check them out. I'll link them in the description below. Also feel free to like and subscribe.